Namaskar, I am Kizia and I welcome you to the Bread of Life. Let us look to the Holy Bible, Hebrew chapter 12, verse 14 to 29. The main idea of the day is a kingdom that cannot be shaken. See that you do not refuse him who is speaking. For if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them, refused him who warned them on earth. Much less will be escape if we reject. Much less will if we reject him, who warns from heaven. At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised. Yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken. That is, things that have been made in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Let's understand the word. When God spoke to the Israelites for the first time on Mount Sinai, the earth shook. Likewise, on the last day, the earth and the heavens will shake. On that day, all the nations in the world will be destroyed and will disappear. Despite that, we do not need to be worried or be afraid. It is because God's kingdom will stand strong. As we follow God's word, we will rejoice with God in his kingdom. We will rejoice with God in his kingdom that cannot be shaken. May the Lord bless us with this word. Let's pray and practice. Dear God, thank you for your word. Thank you for making us the people of God's kingdom that cannot be shaken. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.